Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of MoneroCraft, our Minecraft modded survival series, and the sun is rising, hallelujah! It turns out that the day and night cycle on the moon in this is about 8 normal Minecraft days, so it has been dark for quite a while, I've been waiting for the sun to come up before I recorded another episode. It has finally happened, which means we're going to have, I'm not sure whether it's like 8 day, 8 night, or whether it's 4 day, 4 night, who knows, but we should be in store for a lot of sun now, which means we can go out exploring the surface of the moon. We're on the hunt for three things today. We're on the hunt for meteorites so that we can get meteoric iron. We're on the hunt for the entrance to the moon dungeon. And more importantly, we want to find a moon village. We want to make first contact with the locals. On the left of my screen there, I think that might actually be a meteorite straight away. So we can go harvest that and get ourselves some meteoric iron. And we want that so that we can build ourselves an airlock to put on our newly built space dome or moon dome or moon base, whatever the hell we're calling it. And as you can see around the edge of it, the bubble distributor is working perfectly. So last episode we got this built, but uh, I hadn't moved anything into it yet because it was dark and creepy crawlies were out and admittedly I was a little bit scared. But between episodes I tore down that ugly looking building over there and I moved everything over here. Our oxygen collector is now in the middle of our greenhouse that we built and it's doing pretty good in there. It looks like our weight is growing quite a bit as well. So it's generating a lot of oxygen and the moon dome is the perfect size. Last time I said, oh, maybe I should have made it a bit bigger, but if I hadn't made it any bigger, then this dome wouldn't have fit so perfectly around it. And I like how that looks, how you can see this dome around our little moon hut. And uh, we need to get rid of this door, which is why we want meteoric iron. Uh, some people left some cool suggestions. There's been a suggestion to build maybe like a watchtower as an observatory or something. That sounds like an awesome idea. We might put it on the uh, left of our moon dome. The other suggestion was to uh, turn this front into maybe a little tunnel, and then we can put the airlock on that. I think that would be really, really cool, but of course, we need to find and harvest meteorites to do that. Before we do though, let's head inside because you guys didn't get to see the interior last time, and it's actually much bigger in here than it appears outside. It's like the TARDIS or something. From outside, it doesn't look that impressive, but once you get in here, it actually is pretty big and there's lots of room to uh, build stuff. We really haven't used up much space. Uh, over here, we have our oxygen compressor bringing in the oxygen from our little greenhouse. In the middle, we have the bubble distributor here, which is putting the bubble around for us. Of course, we've got our tesseract, tesseracting power, chunk loader, and our teleporter back to Earth. We're not going to go through that today. I know I said I want to bring Rabito up. I still want to do that, but I want to explore the moon first, get our bearings and have a look at our surroundings, and then we can bring Rabito up. Uh, so, I guess all there's left to do is really just to head out. We have everything we need. We have food, we have torches, we have spare oxygen tanks, we have our backpacks, our tools are all repaired, our jetpacks got plenty of fuel. So I think it is time to head out. We have a marker down, so we should be able to find our way back to moon base nice and easy. I don't actually think these doors keep oxygen in in at all. I don't think they do anything uh, because I did have one on our greenhouse right here and it seemed that it was struggling to generate oxygen or well at least enough oxygen to have this little dome around our moon base. Uh, as soon as I had blocked it off it worked perfectly and that hasn't come down. It's solid as a, a bubble. They're not very solid, are they? I was going to say a rock but we can walk through it so uh, not really. I also hear a zombie or something. Must be underground. Maybe the moon dungeon's below us. That'd be kind of convenient, wouldn't it? Uh, but I don't think it is. Apparently, the entrance to the moon dungeons are an absolutely massive crater. Uh, kind of like this, I guess. But with a big hole in the middle that you can go down. So we're on the lookout for one of those. We're on the lookout for a village. And uh, we're going to go harvest our first lot of meteoric iron over there. And I think the best approach is probably just to head out one direction. And stay going in one direction. And I don't mean uh, the wonderful, wonderful band. <laughs> oh god. J uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? No one likes one direction. No one. Which is not true, sadly. It's not true at all. Uh, so this is a fallen meteorite, and we need to harvest this. There's another one over there. So it looks like we're going to be able to get a fair bit of meteoric iron straight away. Now, I think if you step on them, you may catch fire. I think I read that on the Galacticraft wiki. Not 100%. Not sure if I want to find out. But we may just test it anyway. It's like a hot stove. you got to put your hand on a hot stove at least once. 
What, you guys haven't done that? Well, you, you're missing out on life. One of life's great lessons. Don't put your hand on hot things. Uh, so let's stand on it and see what happens or we'll walk into it. Oh, yep, okay. I saw a little bit of flame pop up there. Uh, oh, it must go out quickly because there's no oxygen. So flame can't survive up here. That's really cool. I love those little touches with this mod. It's really nice. So let's grab ourselves that. Oh, don't you float away. Get back here. The gravity is friggin' awesome on the moon. I really, really love it. Uh, we're gonna head in the direction of the sun, I think. And we're just gonna keep running in this direction. And we will see what we find. I hear more zombies. Why are you making so much noise, zombies? Is that a different rock type? Nope, never mind. The chunks hadn't loaded yet. Thought it was different rock type. I know there are different ones. This, this is uh, moon turf. And then I think there's moon stone or moon rock or something like that. And it's like a darker color. And there's actually moon ores as well. So if we dig down, you could build a mine on the moon. And you can actually find like moon iron and moon silver and stuff like that, I assume. Pretty much the uh, standard ores and things that we have installed. I forgot that I can run up one block high in these boots. And I always jump when I don't need to. Oh, what's this? What the hell? Why are there plants on the moon? How are there flowers here? There's no oxygen for you flowers. You shouldn't be here. Let's have ourselves a little meat nugget. Ah, uh, delicious, just like McDonald's. Processed mystery meat. They should just call it that, mystery meat. Ah, uh, so bluebells from nature apparently are spawning on the moon. Goodbye, bluebell, goodbye. Alright, well, that's uh, interesting. I'm sure that's probably just like a conflict with the mods or something. Don't think that's meant to happen. And this kind of looks cool. I like this little hill over here. Lots of holes in the moon. Lots and lots of craters. I guess it gets hit by meteorites all the time. Supposedly. Look at this. This hill's been decimated over here. I kind of want to poke my head in and see what we got going on here. Except I'm also scared of the evolved uh, mobs because we saw when we came to the moon and our welcoming committee was waiting for us that they're not the nicest bastards. They are, in fact, quite dangerous. Now, have I gone off track? No. Uh, heading towards the sun. That's what we we're going to do. So let's just keep heading in this direction. I think that's probably the best approach. That way you're not crisscrossing or double backing on yourself or anything like that. And there's like liquid on the moon. I wonder what this is. Let's go investigate the liquid now. We're investigating everything today. We should also remember to tap the nodes. I keep forgetting to do that. We have those nodes around our base and we do have our wand on us. So we may as well tap them. Um, what is this here? What are you? You don't look nice, whatever you are. Why is there water on the moon? Is this going to hurt me? Let's find out. The old... Oh, God. Okay, gave me wither. By the, oh, I'm nauseous. Oh, God. Weakness, wither, and nausea. Oh, oh I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be sick. Oh, oh, that's better. Whew. That... Okay, so, um... Dirty brown, what looks like sewer water. Another life lesson, much like the oven. Don't hop in it. It is not nice. I don't see any more meteorites. Maybe they um, only drop around you, which could be dangerous. Maybe they can land on our moon base. That wouldn't be nice. What's this? Why is there just a random hole here? Is there something down there? Hello? Is there anything down here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Here we go. Moonstone. I actually really like the uh, look of this stone too. It'd be kind of cool to build out of it. There might be a smooth version of it as well. Let's have a look here. Is there a smooth version? Nope. It appears there is not. Never mind. Don't mind me then. Onward we go, on this desolate surface, to see what we can see. More holes here. Oh, there's a node. Speak of the devil. Let's go and tap this guy over here really quickly. Tap him on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir, can I have some of your innards? Uh, no, my wand is full on all of that. We got two meteoric iron. Uh, let's get our cooked ingots down here because we are getting a bit hungry. Uh, the other thing we actually need to look into is um, how many we need for this. And air is only one eye. Air? It's only one eye. So, airlock. Uh, okay. Maybe it's separate. Air L, no. Airlock. There we go. Okay. So, for an airlock frame, we don't need meteoric iron. We only need it for a controller. Which means we actually have enough. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, we do have enough to make the airlock controller, which, as you might suspect, activates the airlock so it actually works. What have you got in you, Mr. Node? I'll take anything. Nope. Just got nothing I want. Nothing I want. Should have brought some jars with me and we could have jarred the note or glass and wood. Uh, okay. Don't land in the brown sludge. We found out the hard way that that is not nice. Got to keep an eye on my mini map. 
down there. It's Since it's moved positions, it's got me all confused because it's down there. That's how quickly and easily I get confused because uh, it might give us an indication of where the moon dungeons are or where the village is as well, if we can spot it. Oh, better jump more brown. There's a lot of this disgusting brown water on the moon. It's not a very nice place. It's very barren up here too. Kind of scary. I feel a little bit nervous, especially since I uh, recently watched The Thing and the first Alien film again. So anything space is creeping me out a little bit at the moment. Got me mighty nervous, mighty on edge. More bluebell randomly growing here. Uh, let's keep going. We've still got plenty of sunlight by the looks of it. So we don't have to worry about mobs coming out and uh, killing us at the moment. And uh, we'll see what we find. After a long and treacherous voyage, guys, I think we may have found something here. This appears to be a moon dungeon. So there we go, a giant crater down into the depths of the moon. We can see some bricks or something down there. Now these are meant to be really tough, like you need to be kitted out to be able to take these on. We're going to drop down and just poke our head in at the moment. Oh, I see a spawner. I probably definitely need to take that out straight away. All right, we got the spawner. Oh, and we got a soul shard from that. Cool. Or crystallized soul essence. I completely forgot that we got those from spawners. Um, there appears to be a chest in that room over there too. Do we want to go for the chest? I am mighty nervous. Hang on a second. Why are there normal torches here? You would think that a moon dungeon built on the moon would know there's no oxygen and you need glowstone torches. Silly architect, and why isn't this spawning? Oh, that one's a creeper. Uh, we're going to knock it out anyway. We won't question why it's not spawning. We'll just knock it out uh, before it kills us. And then we'll poke our heads in this room down here. It could be dangerous. Could be nasties in here. Hello? Is anyone down here? I see a room full of cobwebs down there. Looks a little bit scary here. Uh, what do we got in this chest? We have some electrical steel, we have some nether wart, and we have a division sigil. Uh, some standard bindings. We may as well take some of this stuff, actually. Uh, we don't need gunpowder and we don't need bread. We can leave that crap in there. Now, looking at my mini-map, this is quite large and extensive, and the goal is to kind of reach this big room and there should be a boss in it. Uh, oh god, oh god, there's some spiders there. Like I said, I think we might not be kitted up enough for this. You know, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't uh, planning on coming down here. These places are dangerous. Jesus, these zombies are huge. I mean, that guy just took off, uh, I think, two and a half hearts in one hit. So what we might do is we're going to mark this location on our map. We're going to continue exploring and try to find a village. And once we find a village, we will then get tooled up, come back properly prepared, and try to conquer this moon dungeon. Mungeon. Moon Mungeon. <laughs> uh, this moon dungeon and try to uh, defeat the boss at the end of it. Because by defeating the boss at the end of the dungeon, uh, we get the schematics to make a rocket to go to Mars. So let's put down a marker here. So let's put it as uh, Mungeon, since apparently that's how I pronounce it. Uh, so we got our moon dungeon there. Our Mungeon. Fantastic. Uh, we also need to swap out our oxygen tank soon. And this could be a problem if we don't find a village relatively quickly because we're running low on oxygen. Our base is back that way. It's been a long trek so far and it's time to continue on. We'll be back for you, Mungeon. Don't think you're safe. We will be back for you, Mungeon. I think I'm losing my damn mind. It's nothing but endless grey. All around, it's just grey, and it goes on forever. I think we've been lied to. Maybe there are no villagers up here. We are so far away from Moonbase and from the Mungeon. Um, we can't even see the markers anymore. Holy crap. This has been a journey and a half. Help me, Mr. Node. You're my only hope. Help me. Uh, let's get anything. Oh, it's nothing even in there. Can't even stop for a quick node break. I, I'm going to go insane soon. I'm going to go loco if all I'm seeing is more grey over this hill. No. No. <laughs> Why do you hate me, son? Why do you hate me? Can it be? Can we have finally found a fabled village? My eyes do not deceive me. For a second there I thought this was a simple mirage. We have done it, guys. We have found a village after what seems like Endless days of nothing but mind-numbing grey. My brain hurts.
uh, I think I was starting to go a little space loopy out there. Found myself singing Justin Bieber. I don't know what that was about. Uh, space madness, I think they call it. But I have found a space village, and how cool does this look? Uh, besides their farm being quite jacked up there, this place looks amazing. And I think I spy a space villager. It has been so long since I have seen another being. I don't, I don't even know how to react to this. Uh, there's two space villagers. Hello, sir. Are you friendly? Oh, three space villagers. Look, they're just coming out of these little domes that they have here. Are you my friend? I cannot interact with you. I came all this way. I had an arduous journey. I traveled from another planet and you don't even want to talk to me. I can't actually interact with them at all. So, I, you can't trade with moon villagers? Oh no, come on. Spent so long searching for this dastardly place and uh, we can't actually do anything with them except observe them in their natural habitat. It looks really cool though. I love the design of their domes. Their domes put mine to shame. I've been dominated. Oh wow, that was, that was terrible. Oh look, a meteorite just crashed. Saw a spark out of the corner of my eye. Uh, let's go harvest this meteorite and we'll look around the rest of the village a little bit. Our air tanks are holding up okay. We're not, we're, we're a bit closer to our moon base than we were last time I checked back in with you guys. I started heading back towards it just because there was nothing out there. Just endless endless grey. Uh, let's go inspect the rest of this place. It looks really darn cool. I really like it. We've made first contact with the locals. We've found ourselves a mungeon. We have uh, meteoric iron. Everything went perfectly today. Absolutely smoothly. Hello. Oh crap. There is a lot of you in here and you're all watching me. I like how <laughs> they are literally just villagers with blue heads. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, what's this? 10 decoration block. What the hell? I really like that. That looks darn cool. We might uh, steal some of this tin decoration block here from these poor moon villagers. Since they don't want to trade with me, I was willing to uh, bargain, do a bit of bartering, and uh, trade goods to purchase this uh, tin decoration block here. But since these bastards don't want to talk to me, or it could be the fact that I am a stranger from a weird planet, uh, I look quite odd even <laughs> among my own species. And they don't speak my language. It could be all of those things, but we're just going to chalk it up to them being incredibly rude. Uh, let's get like a stack of this stuff. We have 39 at the moment. I'll put that down there so I can see how much we're getting. Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> just watching me tear up their floor. Who is this strange person? And why is he tearing up our house? They're so terrified too. They're too scared to actually do anything. Like if we just ignore him, guys, he'll go away. Just ignore him, and he'll go away. He's clearly a little bit unstable mentally. Um, which, you know, if they travelled around on the moon, they would be too. It's just grey. It's so much grey out there. And my eyes were playing tricks on me. I kept seeing things that I thought were villagers, then they weren't villagers. And then, you know, you get that gut-wrenching, devastating feeling in the pit of your stomach when you find out that it was just a... It was just a hill, and you've still got more travelling. I also like the fact that they're just perched, like, on the blocks. We're just going to leave the blocks that they're standing on. There you go, sir. So I'm just stealing it around them, out from under their feet, pulling the carpet out from under them. Uh, how much have we got here? Okay. We'll grab up the rest that has dropped. So we have two stacks of this stuff, and then let's get out of here. Oh, I need to go jump up on the moon dome and have a little peek around. Yeah, I do really like the design of this. It's really cool. We should put a glass on our roof too. That way we can... Uh, hello, guys. I just noticed they're all staring at me. Hi. Uh, nice to see you. That way we can stare up at the sun and our, our own planet over there that I'm missing greatly at the moment. Feels like it's been an eternity since I last stood on solid ground without this floaty gravity. I am missing Earth a little bit. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to start making my way back to our moon base. It's not too far away from this village. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw it a rating. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's two villages almost next to each other. And they're really close to our base. Wow. Well, I think I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry.